Hi. So, um, I've been meaning to make an update about Toyo for a while. Um, realistically, there's, I'm not stopping development on it. Um, the reason why there hasn't been any devlogs for a while isn't because I'm super busy. I mean, I am busy, but also it's not because of that. Um, there's nothing really to report on. The stage I'm at right now with the Toyo is the game is in early access on bug fixing, little tiny things. A lot of things have to do with the tutorial and... Uh, my friends not be able to get past um, uh, first day and, or it'll get stuck or something like that. So it's little tiny bug fixes and then like a couple of big issues that are like ongoing. As well as ad adding new items. Like I'm not going to give you guys a devlog every time I add four new items. I'm going to give you a devlog once I've added like a hundred new items. Once I've, once I've completed the tier one item list, then I'll be like, hey, here's an update for the game. It's going to be out really soon. Bottom. It's done. Um... So there hasn't been any updates on that because there really isn't any. I don't have any big news to put out for that. What I do have is that um, I need to continue to progress my game development knowledge. And Atoyo, however good it is to have a game up early access ready to go on Steam and be worked on, I'm not learning anything new. So I'm kind of stagnating. I'm like... Well, I could add new items. I could do this. I could do that. Da, 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 da. I'm not really doing anything. Um, so, I started working on this guy. This is the latest iteration of my sci-fi soldier, I'm calling him. Because I started with, uh, let's go to open recent, a human model. I was making, wow, he looks so bad compared to the new model. Um, I started working on this guy to modify the NPCs in a Toyo so they can actually have humanoid bodies. But as I progress on, I realize I don't have a style down for how I like my models to look. So I went and started working on this dude who looks amazing. And I'm getting a feel for developing and creating and modeling humanoid figures. And that was the intent behind this was like, I'm going to make this dude and I'm going to make a game focused around this dude. And I want to, develop a style i want to learn how to model humans and humanoid bodies and texture them and model them and, and get the uv maps and i want to learn how to do that properly and rig them and animate them and make them feel nice and special and fun and the first model didn't this guy he um let's see uh, this guy wasn't really matching that like the mouth isn't good the nose isn't good the eyes are, none, none of this is good i'm gonna redo the head and the body pff, i'm probably gonna redo the whole thing to be honest because i don't like the way the mesh looks it just doesn't look good in the middle here. There's too many lines, too much. There's too many polygons there to mess with, even though the, the shoulders came out really well in this one. Um, so learning from that and going into this guy and then learning from this guy and going back to making the NPCs and the player model is my intent. So I've, de I've been developing this dude. Um, and the game I'm going to be making around this guy, I'm going to make a single player um, story driven game kind of inspired by deep rock galactic kind of a mix of that and or a uh, whole game um mind raider which is a game i want i made a long time ago if you watch the last video on it um i say a long time ago i made it last year um and i wanted to make a game about that concept but i like sci-fi dwarves i mean i play i play votan i play deep rock galactic i i love lord of the rings dwarves i love fantasy dwarves so, I wanted to make a science fiction space fantasy dwarf game. And uh, I started modeling this guy out. And then I'm going to go from this to doing the textures to getting rigged up to getting in a game. And then I'll develop the game around him. I don't want to develop the game and then the model. I'm trying to do it backwards this time. Because usually I get the mechanics down. I get uh, prototypes down. I get all the things kind of set up. I get the scripts all lined up. And I, I know what I'm doing. And this, I'm like, no, I already know how to code everything I need to do. So I need to work on getting the models to look good. So I'm making the models look good, and then I'm going to work on the game. Starting with the player character. Now, something I have to decide is if I want it to be, you know, a third person. Or if I want it to be a first person. Like, I don't know which is better. Right now, you can kind of see the whole character, and you'll be able to see him in, like, cutscenes and stuff. But I also don't know if I want to do like an over the over the shoulder third person, um, like Omni. Maybe I want to do Iso. Maybe I should do Iso. Where's the option? Can I see Iso? What's what's the isometric option? That one. I could do Iso. Iso's not bad. You can still kind of see him. That makes sense if you have him like 
down here and shooting that way in an isometric game? I don't know. You can't see him from there. But, like, down here shooting that way in an isometric game? Maybe. I was going for a third, like, a 3D, like, like I said, like, a Deep Rock Galactic kind of. But maybe ISO is a good idea. That's not, that's not such a bad take. Isometric would be really fun to make. I've never made an isometric game before, so that'd be a good good attempt. Like, kind of put them, like, in the bottom, like, middle bottom. Like, if this was, if you do, like, a crosshair, so top left, top right, top bottom right, bottom left, maybe have them in the bottom left and then shooting towards the top right corner, and that'll be your direction of travel. I could do that. I just got to figure out how to do that. I've never made a so game before. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of pop in and say that I am still working on stuff. I haven't stopped. I've actually gotten more done recently than I have in the past couple months. Well, not the past couple months. Past couple weeks, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm basically, with Atoyo, I'm just adding new items and bug fixing and trying to get things under control. And with this one, I'm just starting. Like, this is just starting. This is looking so much better. Like, I'm just from this alone, I'm like, I really want to just work on this and this alone right now. But Atoyo, I could stop this for, like, an hour uh, do like five, six new items for a Toyo, come back to this next day. Like that's not kind of my intention. I want to focus on this and then be like, okay, stop, go build a bookshelf, go um, design more books, make a map, make banners, make all this kind of stuff, and then come back to this. Because there's things I want to add to a Toyo. I want to add a map of the region. I want to add uh, new flags, new banners. I want to add bookcases. I want to add different kinds of candles. I want to add more, uh, more figurines. I want to add art. I want to add bottles of liquor i want to add all these kinds of really cool tavern things but then at the same time this is also just like a different direction the art style is different between the two because toyo is very square it's very much it's like super simple meshes everything's got like five sides to it six sides not a lot of overlapping complexity with the uh, the geometry and this isn't even that complex like this is very very low poly um but it's also a higher poly in, like, the beard and stuff than it is. I mean, except for the fireplace and the toyo. But, like, the beard is super high poly compared to a lot of the other things going on here. So it's just a slightly different direction I'm going with this game. And I'm kind of really enjoying it right now. So I'm going to get back to work. I might have there's more polys in here. I'm going to get back to work on uh, adding hands and feet. Because right now he doesn't have hands or feet. So once I've got those done. Oh, I guess I should say. The intent is that... Um, as you progress through this game, you'll be able to upgrade your character and make them customizable, make them look like you want to. So ISO is better. Um, so you'll be able to like change the beard out. That's what he looks like without the beard, by the way. He looks so oh, he looks so derpy without the beard. I love it. Um, you can take the goggles off. You can uh, eventually add hair. You can change the gloves and the boots. So there will be things that you can't. I gotta put the beard back on. Looks so bad without the, without them. Um, there will be things that you can change out, but for starters, it'll just be the default character, and then we'll go from there. Anyways, I'm going to go. i got a lot of work to do, so thank you for watching. I shall see you guys later. Have a good day, and goodbye.